Hi everybody, it's me, Teresa Perrin. I hope that you're having a wonderful weekend so far. I want to discuss Hellbiz with you, and just to let you know, I'm going to break this down into a few videos because it's the weekend. I don't want to make any one of them like 20 to 30 minutes long, and I feel that it could go that long because I like to talk, and there's a lot to talk about with Hellbiz. But in this video, we're going to focus on um, the acquisition of wheels being completed. We're going to talk about how it's trending this weekend on stock twits. We're going to talk a little bit about the price action and we're going to look at Fintel and what it's showing us. So let's get started. If you haven't already, check out my Hellbiz kitchen update um, that has already been uploaded. And we're also going to do a video later on this weekend talking about the insider buying. Um, so please pay attention to that Hellbiz Kitchen because I think you're going to see something that correlates there. So let's get started. Please remember nothing I say is financial advice. Always do your own DD. Let's get started. So on Friday morning at 9.15 a.m., this article came out. Hellbiz completes acquisition of whales. The combined company will potentially double Hellbiz's annual revenue and accelerate the pathway to profitability. It strengthens the ability to operate in 67 markets globally and creates a more diversified business model and enhances the financial profiles of Hellbiz. Hellbiz, a leader in micromobility, today announced that it has completed the previously announced merger with Wheels Labs, Inc., otherwise known as whales. The acquisition is expected to strengthen the ability to operate by expanding Hellbiz's presence to 67 markets globally, creating a more diversified business model and enhancing the financial profiles of the company. Salvador Paella says he appreciates everyone's dedication to the deal. Wheels assets and industry expertise are invaluable to us. We believe the acquisition can accelerate our efforts to advance our product development, enhance customer experience, and push our top line in operating efficiency to the next level. This will further solidify our near-term goal of achieving profitability and our long-term goal of disrupting the micro-mobility industry and bringing a sustainable modern transportation alternative. Now, guys, the fact here that it says it will potentially double Hellbiz's annual revenue and accelerate the pathway to profitability should have caused something to spike the price. But look at this. We were down on the day 2.9% or like less than a fraction of a penny, but considering we're only trading at 17.77%. Guys, that is very, very strange to me and I don't understand it, especially given the fact that our volume was 6.14 million, which is above our normal average volume of 4.76 million. So how is it that we didn't even go up at all? We know how Hellbiz can move. If you need a reminder, um, before I get off the screen, let me just tell you that um, the highest it went was from 17 cents to 19 point like 19.8. So, you know, under 20 cents. So m it moved like two and a half cents total and then came back down. Something seems a little strange to me there. But look it, this is from before how much Hellbiz can move. It can go from, you know, 24 cents to 53 cents in a single day. And yet it does nothing today. I seems very odd to me. But anyways, it is what it is. I think that uh, going into Monday, I'm not the only one of those feelings. And it's definitely on the radar. According um, to as of Saturday night um, on stock twits, it's number seven on the most active tickers. And it's number two on the watchers, guys. So, you know, it's right behind GRND grind. That one that went up like crazy amounts on Friday. If you saw that, if not, check out that chart. It's very interesting, but it's even above MMTLP on the watchers. So something tells me it's going to rock it, but why hasn't it? I don't know, but I'm intrigued. Now, According to Fintel, this is not a short squeeze candidate. They're saying that the short interest is only 2.19% with 0.28 days to cover. Again, 
take anything you see on Fintel and on Ortex with a grain of salt because, guys, it doesn't seem to add up lately. Um, the shares available to short is plenty, 2,500,000. With a 40 to 42 percent cost to borrow. Again, why is the cost to borrow so much on a stock that's only 17 cents when there's only a 2 percent short interest? See what I mean here? The short volume ratio has been between 25 and 48.84 percent in the past two weeks. On Friday, it was 40.40. So clearly Friday was higher than it's been all week. Um, and guys, people are still shorting it at freaking 17 cents. Why? You need to ask yourself why. Well, I'll tell you, there's some little dirty birds involved in this, including Susquehanna and including Hudson Bay that just sold out of their position in the digging that I've done. So these are two names that I really don't like. And I'm just being honest, but... Any stock that they seem to be involved in, nothing good comes of it. So I have to ask myself why. But considering the fact that Hudson Bay sold and Susquehanna bought. Hmm. Guys, I don't know. Birds of a feather flock together. These two seem to be on a lot of things. I don't know what they do if they work together, if they're companies together I mean I don't know if they have some kind of business relationship or what but it seems like where you find one you find the other and nothing good seems to come of them so I don't know something to keep an eye on but guys I expect to see a major price movement in this on Monday and I want it to be on your radar I have lots to talk about like I stated so expect to see some other videos coming out this weekend on Halbiz. have a great weekend